Yeah, I wanted to give you a further breakdown on this arm. This um, arm that holds the coolant has worked out well for me for several years. So this is the part that goes onto that bolt that locks the ram. And this 7 16 bolt fits into the slot. Now it can be on, on either side and you have all these different patterns to where this piece mounts onto there. It looks like that in the video. And then this piece is just a round piece with a, a shape on it. I got a little recess there that fits onto there. That's just got a 3816 threaded hole in it for this piece here. So I bought this knob, and that's what this piece goes on. So you can slide it back and forth for the adjustment and up and down. That's just a piece I put a slot in just cut it on a band saw got three different holes there for different adjustments and this piece on the back is a counterbalance weight because when you stick it way out it wants to fall down so I got this piece of stainless on the back as a counterbalance and this piece here is a little piece of steel that's bolted onto this aluminum angle. And it's got a spring in there with a bolt that goes into this piece. That's so it can pivot back and forth for an adjustment. And then this piece is just a hole with a slot that fits onto here for an adjustment. And this piece, piece of brass, and I had this piece of knurled stock. It was used for something, and I just drilled it out and turned that piece of brass, and that's what goes into this thread here to clamp down on this piece, make that tight so it'll lock it wherever you want. I mean, it's a it's a really simple thing and it works out real well. Like I said, this is just drilled out for that little lock that holds the ram. So I just thought I'd throw it out there because you can make it out of a piece of scrap here and a piece of scrap there and have something that works out real nice. Like I said, I've used this for several years and it worked out really, really well. Okay.
Yeah, this is uh, with the head extended out, I'm doing a control box. So I had to uh, stick it way out here, move the ram all the way out. And even at this, the uh, Mr. Arm will still be able to keep the cutter cool and lubricated. Okay, that worked out good. We got the, the cut out on the top of the box done. Now we just gotta do the front. But uh, like I was saying, that arm, it's got a nice reach to it. Even way out here, it uh, works good. Yeah, this little hose clamp, that was from where the uh, the hose started splitting on me. I already replaced this hose once. This, this unit, I don't know, it's about three or four years old, and I replaced this hose once last year, and it, I got somebody used it, and I put a little split in it, so I put a little clamp on it, and it's still working. But I guess you could use any kind of magnetic-based with that little piece of metal up there. Yeah, it works out real good. <laughs> 